Hi, this is Kim Morrison from Be Your Own Graphic Designer. Anya posted today that she was having problems moving a text box around. So I thought I'd see whether I could help by recording a quick video uh, showing how I do it. I'm going to select Facebook post. This will take me into my design screen. And here I have my blank page. Anya mentioned that she had a photograph at the back, so I'm going to add one. I'm going to go to my uploads. And as it's nearly Halloween, I'm going to go with a Halloween type image background and then we'll go from there. This is the one I'm looking for. So I've clicked on that. This is a Be Your Own Graphic Designer background, which is part of our Halloween bundle. And I've just put that as the background. So now you can see it's a very strong background with a very definite photo on it. And what I'm going to do now is go to the text, click the Add a Text box. And it tends to drop it in the middle. And I'm just going to add my text now. Of course, because the background of this is so dark, I can hardly see the text. So I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to choose a suitably creepy Halloween font. I think there is one called, but I'm going to go and choose the one called Creepster. Here it is. So there's my Halloween font. I'm going to highlight this again. And I'm going to change the colour. And I'm going to make it orange to match the pumpkins. And then I'm going to make it a lot bigger so we can actually see it. Maybe even larger than that. Let's go up to 72. Now, if I pull the box at the side, you can see I can reshape it just to one line. I can make it two. So I'm going to make it one line. And now I'm going to move it. And this is the, this is the issue that Anya had. What you have to do is wait till you get these crossed double headed arrows. So again, go back to the edge. Ideally, you need to go to the edge of your text box. And then this will come up. It's not the most intuitive thing and doesn't actually appear that quickly. But once you get it, you can move it wherever you want. And Canva will help you line it up if you want to go forwards. I'm just going to move it across slightly to fit in with my image. And that's all there is to it. But the key is to make sure you go to the edge of the text box and then you'll get that double arrow, double headed cross arrow, and then you're able to move the text box. I hope that helped. If you have any other questions that I can help you with, please do get in touch. Thanks. Bye.